hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video i will be showing you how to do um what i assume to be one of the most um i mean there's a lot of powerful tools in gis but this is also very powerful it's geocoding so geocoding simply means trying to give um a particular given data with locations trying to represent them in the map giving them a coordinate system that they can be um, using the address to match coordinate system and then of course you can now have them on the map um, so that is what we're going to be doing today so to do a geocoding i have to import the, the data that has the address so in our own case i have this data set and these are facilities names streets cities um st states um so this is for kentucky and then you can see zip file and all that so it's more like the screening sites long console screening sites the data is from american college of radiology and that's what we'll be working with screening site in kentucky and so let's get into the video so to do that i just um come click add data and then in the map tuba then come to address and place layer and um we'll be selecting the data which is this and importing it so generally importing the table automatically you know gives you the opportunity to geocode it because you have already selected this so you're trying to convert it to place on the map so that is it um you start by selecting and then you you impute here it's just one so it's at just one geocoding service and then you continue with that and i would want to view this in more than one field and I click next and now the tool has attempted to map the field to correspond field in your so now for my address i will select the so this select the name for the second address, I'll select the street. It's just to help it match it on the you know on the map. So for city, I have city. For and if you're wondering like what am I selecting, just so like this. I'm not sure if I can. It's it kind of open or something. Yeah. So these are what I'm selecting. So you can see one. So these are things that I feel like can help me match it. And then it's giving me the opportunity to like select them. You see? So the numbers can the phone numbers can help me. The the designation can help me. The registry participant for the for those that want to it can help me. So the only thing that I feel can help me is just the name of the hospitals then the um the streets where they're located the city where they're located the the state and that is it the rest of this can help me to achieve what i want to achieve i mean and also the zip code so the phone the designation and then the registry i mean them could do very little for me so that's how i that's you know that's how I got to know these ones that I'm feeling here. So it's on the table already. So for county, there was n there was nothing for county. So but there was something for state. So we selected state, and then zip code. There was a zip code there, and that is it, guys. So that's the whole thing that it was that is in that table. So we continue. And then we address routing. So we continue with address routing, then out, um, output field R. And we want to select the United States because that's where I'm working with. 
that's where I'm working and that's like the state for the data. If it's another part of the world, you just definitely sell any other part of the world wherever you try not your code. So that is that I click next and I would say um so for category here and the locations in your table are limited to a specific type. So I'll just address poster um so for address this and poster zip codes and coordinate. I don't have these coordinates so and um point of interest okay so i'll just select these guys and see what we get with those but we don't we're looking for and then remember whenever you see this it's like telling you that it's not just you can run it without a credit so i think somewhere along the line to ask me for credit or something so then i think i'm all set and i will run so it says estimate credit before running so i have to come up here and estimate credit estimated credit consumption now I'll remove all this and go back and run again and then see so it's saying that it has 78 78 matched and then zero was unmatched and then 21 tied so that was it so if there's an issue you probably want to like you know rematch or something but that might be um another video for another day so we so if so that's just that and then these are the counties these are not counties sorry these are like locations of these addresses on the map so now we can try to do uh, like in the previous videos that I've, I've done you've seen me do like a density analysis kind of density or uh, heat map you will now be able to see okay where are these more located you can see with your bare eyes but you might just want to do the analysis for much um, effective calculations but uh, watching already i would say there are more clusters of um, facilities in this place than in this place and then possibly in this place and then you know and less in this place and some part of this place so that is it and to add more context to this so this is already geocoded already and you can do with this whatever you want to do with it to add the context that i was saying so i might want to see what is going on in the county level here so i would just quickly I'll quickly add um I'll quickly add a folder to see so this is kind of shape file of the United States so I can so this is for the whole of Kentucky but I mean I can also import state and and then so yeah this is for the whole of Kentucky and then you can be able to see and just analyze the map and run a lot of analysis but that's it guys so this is how you can do um, a geocoding remember we just have addresses and then we now ended up bringing up this uh, without longitude and latitude in our data set without longitude and latitude so you can see no longitude and latitude and then we're able to bring these data sets in using geocoding and then now you know they having as they are now specially distributed and you can see them having like longitude and latitude now when you click on them um so yeah so now it's your reference and you can see you can see all that so that is it guys thank you for i mean it's your credit now so that is it guys so thank you for um 
watching please like share subscribe and um see you next time have a wonderful day bye